Albeda Castle is an ancient castle located in the northwestern part of the city of Albeda. Albeda was given this name in relation to the white rock on which it was built, and it is also called Shamar Castle in relation to the Himyarite king Shamar Thurin, who built it to supervise the Shamar market, which is considered one of the most famous Arab markets in pre-Islamic times. As it is considered, Shamar Castle is one of the most prominent historical landmarks of the city. The area of the castle is estimated at 4 square kilometers, and a height of 150 meters, surrounded by a wall on all sides, and it has only two gates, one on the western side and the other on the southern side, and the remains of more than 12 forts that made up the castle appear, making it impregnable and impenetrable to any attack due to the ruggedness of the mountain the towering wall on which it was built and the high wall on the outskirts of which forts were spread, which are linked to each other by tunnels that facilitate the process of movement between these forts. <laughs> Here, in those old and scattered forts, the original white Jews lived before they left the country for Israel 100 years ago. The Himyarite inscription is still engraved in the rocks and plains from many years ago until now, and that rock in Albeda Dam is still carved in it until now. Albeda is characterized by the beauty of its historical forts and majestic palaces, with the art of architecture that pleases the onlookers. Palaces in Al Baraka neighborhood are still proud despite the modern urban development, all of them refuse to be anything but a bright beacon as a reminder for generations. <laughs> Palaces of the Seine are among the most prominent palaces in the city. Galban Palace is one of the largest palaces in the city, and it is one of the property of Al Karbi, one of the former white merchants. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
minimalist build in the recent era, but clinging to the old style. Hazar al Sheba is located in the oldest market in the city center and below the castle, which is called in our time the coffee roundabout. And those forts were the security administration during the era of the Imam who ruled the country for decades. Hazar el Rima was called the skyscraper during the era of the Imamate because of its height that hugs the sky. It is said that the age of this tree, which is called Tolka, is more than 500 years old, and its length with its roots may reach 30 meters along the mountain on which it rests. al Beda Dam, which is considered one of the largest dams in the region, as it receives tons of seasonal rainwater, as it is a salvation for people in the scarce season. Harbi is considered one of the largest and largest mountains in the city, which overlooks Al Beda from the southwest. <laughs> Al-Damani Fort is located at the top of Al-Karka Street and overlooks Al-Salam Street.
Al-Naqib fortress, which embraces the clouds, stops us with unparalleled heroism. <laughs> And here is the fortress of Sabi stationed with the entire camel on Samula Street. On Al Samula Street, the forts of Al Harithi bear an ancient architectural character that is left behind, such as the belt and the stars next to the windows. On Rabat Street, there is the Al Hadar Mosque for Sharia Sciences, which was founded by the beloved Muhammad Al Hadar. May God rest his soul.